world of hideous nightmares awaits in Kingdom Death Monster. Fight to survive or fade into darkness at the Kingdom Death Hub at BeastsOfWar.com. Progress comes to a world of magic as science and the arcane combine to make marvels. Meet steampunk inventors and orc mystics at the Volsun Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. Hello everybody and welcome to What's in the Box. Myself and John are here today to have a look at some guild ball. Mm -hmm. It's the Farmer's Guild. Yep. So, the, the Honest Land Box. Yeah. Ta -da! These are one of the guilds I have seriously considered picking up for myself to actually play. Yeah. Now, I did get to sit down with the guys from Steamforce to talk about these on a weekend or a while back, so we may retread some ground with these. So if you've watched that, you'll know what we're talking about. If not, we're going to cover it again. The first thing you get in the box, and I think this is such a clever thing for the guys to add, is you get a pack of cards. Mm -hmm. Now, it's this thick, you do not need all of these. Because basically, all of these are in the different languages. Okay? So, as you can see, this is not English. No. I have been clever before we started the video, and taken the English cards out. <laughs> <laughs> but it lets, it lets Steamforge just package everything. It yeah. doesn't matter what language it is, just yeah. package it. You're not going to worry there. about being in France picking up an English copy by accident. Yep. So, the miniatures themselves. Right, I will whoop, pop all this out. They all come in a nice uh, vacuum formed bit of packaging. I actually continued to use this on my blacksmiths. Yes, you have. Yeah. yeah, although I did have one interesting thing where after I had them painted, I've had people look at them in the box and go, are those pre-painted? Are they doing those pre-painted? Are they mad? No, 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 I painted those. <laughs> <laughs> so, the team themselves. One of the things you get in here that I love is all of these come with a little bit of terrain to actually put on your table. Yep. This is essentially a little bit of uh, farming gear. Yep. So you've got cabbages, you've got pumpkins, you've got seed, you've got a little pitchfork. You've got a rat. Rat? Is that a rat or a chicken? That's a chicken. It's a chicken. It looks like a rat from over here. Zoology is not your strong point, John. It's not. I see a turnip. <laughs> Baldrick would be proud. Yes. One day in my load, I dream of having a turnip to call my own. <laughs> uh, you get your goalpost, which is nice. Yep. Now this is a lot smaller than the one that comes in the Blacksmith's Guild box, but it's still quite nice. So you've got the nice big Farmer's Guild logo, yep. chicken, pitchfork, a few other bits, bag of flour, and then just the backing on it. Mm -hmm. Really nicely detailed, and I like the fact that they've actually worked a Guild Ball logo into yeah, the back of this. Yeah, it's a very nice little touch. Really nicely detailed. On to the actual characters though. So, who is this John? Have a look at the cards. Right, I shall. You're, okay, you're putting me on the I spot here. I think this here. is Wendell. Um, yeah, that's Wendell. Uh, so he's basically your big guy within the box. Every box has a big guy. And what he does, can you give me his card? Yep, here you go. Thank you. He has 28 health. He's that's... a big boy, he's well fed. Yeah, that is quite good. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm sorry. He's well fed, I say, and then I read his character play, which is well snack fed. break. Oh, snack break. <laughs> yeah. uh, so it, it will cost you one influence or a guild ball symbol on his playbook. Mm -hmm. So his playbook is actually not overly long. So you, you could possibly get a wrap on him. He's tack five, so on the charge with nine, you could wrap that. He's got knockdowns, he's got momentous damage, and his actual ability is momentous whenever you actually play it highly on your your playbook. So, Snack Break. This model recovers four health points. Uh, next time this model inflicts the taken out condition on a friendly team, you gain an additional VP, which is quite nice. Mm -hmm. Lots of stuff on his back here. Uh, I'll just read one of them. Or no, actually, Stop Slacking is a funny one. Uh, when other friendly model ends in advance within this aura, it's aura four, this model, does, this model is not suffering knockdown condition. Uh, this model may make a one inch dodge, which is nice. Mm -hmm. So he can actually step away from people. Uh, he's also got Heal and Hearty. Uh, if this model is below the specified health point, playback results that include damage that hit this model do not generate uh, momentum points. So if he's under 15 health, you can't get momentum off him, which is nice. Mm -hmm. The whole theme with this force is you have uh, people who sow and those who reap. Mm -hmm. So I would assume. I'm not sure if he's a sower or a reaper. I think he, th he looks like he would reap. Yeah, well you see the, the sowers have specific abilities to put tokens down. The ball of the box though. It's not a ball. 
they play with a pumpkin. <laughs> that is such a cool little touch. Yeah. To have a custom ball that's a pumpkin. <laughs> okay, uh, next character, let's go with the mascot. We have Peck. Peck. Who is a rooster in battle armor. Well, you say battle armor. It looks like he just has a collar on, really. But oh, yeah, There's a few bits on him. Yeah. I mean, the artwork is really nice for him. It is. So, he's got an armored collar. That, that looks like rooster armor to me. <laughs> so, for Peck, very short playbook. Only two on it. He's tack two, though. So, yep. he can do one momentous damage, or his ability, which is called cocky. Uh, he can also tackle the ball. <laughs> rooster running around with the ball. I, I don't think this rooster could move that pumpkin. You, know, they, you never know. He's super strong. I bet, you they, I bet you they breed them stronger in the anyway, country. <coughs> cocky is a... Cost one regular, if you want to just use it, range four. Target friendly model ignores the next condition placed on it other than taken out. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. So if you're against someone like the alchemist and they're putting down like acid and fire, you can ignore that with him. Uh, he has a few abilities on the back. He actually is a mascot with a heroic play. Right. <laughs> uh, called When the Cock Crows. Four in, uh, yeah, four inch pulse. Friendly models within this pulse remove the knockdown condition. Uh, friendly models within this pulse that removed removed the knockdown condition may immediately make a one-inch dodge. So you can do the heroic play, get your guys back up, and they're just like, nope, time to go to work. <laughs> uh, it also has pain response. When this model suffers damage from an enemy attack or character play, it may make a one-inch dodge. Mm. So that's good. So you, you'll constantly be chasing this thing down. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's flavorsome. Uh, fertilizer, when this model suffers the taken out condition during the activation phase, this model's controlling player may place a friendly 30mm harvest marker within two of this model. Hmm. So it dies and it poops itself? <laughs> not going to say anything. Yeah. Sorry, I need to recheck this. Uh, Big Breakfast and Berserker. So no, he's not placing any down. Okay. Okay, uh, next up, let's go with the boss. Which one's the boss? This dude. With uh, two big saw blades coming out of his back. Grange. Yes. So you imagine this is the leader of the pack, the farmer himself, making everybody work in his fields. Yep. Uh, the design's really nice. I like the fact that you've got two massive like wood saws on his back. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's very much in a, a management pose. Yeah. I'm going to call it a management pose. Because it's just like, it will work. Uh, Health-wise, 26. Mm. Well fed. Uh, he's got constitution and honest labor for abilities and there is a lot of momentous stuff on his actual playbook mm -hmm. four of them it is quite a long playbook tack 6 is pretty good it's not too shabby on the kick either his defense is good not a lot of armor but he can take up to 5 influence that's very good mm -hmm. uh, so let's see Honest labor, when, a, when an other friendly guild model makes an attack that targets an enemy model that is within this model's melee zone, the friendly guild model gains plus one attack, plus one damage to playbook damage results for the duration of the attack. That's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, constitution, target friendly guild models gains tough hide. Enemy plays that cause damage or playbook damage results suffer minus one damage. Very nice. Uh, for the family. Aura 6. Uh, While well within this aura... When a friendly guild model makes a pass, the friendly guild model gains plus one, plus two to their kick for the duration of the pass. Mm. That's nice. His legendary play. This is the captain, so he gets one of these. Huge tracts of land. Aura six. The controlling, controlling player may place up to two friendly 30mm harvest markers within six of this model, while within this aura, friendly guild models gain sturdy. Uh, once per turn, this model may ignore the first knockdown condi condition placed on it. So he can make people really steady. Steam Forge. Yeah. That is the most exquisite, beautiful use of a Monty Python reference. Yeah. What do you mean you don't like her? What's wrong with her? She's beautiful, she's rich, she's got huge tracts of land. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, I love it. <laughs> All right, let's go with uh, Jack. Jack Straw. Yes, he has a very nice miniature. Very nice, one of my favourites in this box. So he's like a, a scarecrow come to life. With a big ass sickle. I love his hat. His hat makes it for me. <laughs> Do you want his hat? Yes. You want a full scale version of his hat? Yes. Yeah. Now, this is who I would probably guess is going to be one of the Reapers. So he'll pick up the harvest tokens to actually yeah. get some additional stuff. Health 10. 
He's a little squishy. He is a little. Uh, He's made of straw, though. Yeah. His playbook's very short, though. Mm. Only three things in it. Although he's got a, a knockdown and a momentous tackle, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Kick is 2 8. That's super long. Yeah, he's very much your striker. Well, he's a little bit slow, though, because he's movement 2 4. So maybe maybe he's more the, the back pass. Like maybe he'd be in the back and passing the yeah, ball forward. Controlling the ball. Yeah, yeah. But his character plays crop dusting, cost 2, range 8. Uh, it's an AoE 3. Uh, all models hit suffer two damage. This model's controlling player may place two friendly 30mm harvest markers within the AoE. That's, oh right, so he's actually a planter. Mm. <laughs> okay, we've got a Wizard of Oz reference. Alright. If I only had a brain. Cost one, range four. Place this model in base contact with a target friendly harvest marker. That's nice. So he, he can actually get a lot of movement even though he's slow. So maybe so he is. If you have Grange up front, yeah. does his legendary play, drops the two harvest markers, Jack Straw then teleports to it, and then gets the ball, and then kicks it in. Yep. That's very good. Uh, next one, at your post. Mm -hmm. Scarecrow. Once per turn during its activation, this model may choose a friendly harvest marker or a friendly goal post within four inches of this model. Place this model in base contact with the harvest marker or goal post. So he does have some movement abilities. Yeah. The next ability, the last straw. <sighs> I love it. I love it. This unboxing <laughs> is becoming the straw that broke the camel's back. <laughs> they don't have a camel. They haven't done that guild yet. Uh, at the end of its activation, this model may choose a friendly harvest marker within four. Place this model in base contact with the harvest marker. He's got lots of movement shenanigans, mm. but he also has reanimate. So once per turn, when this model is reduced to zero health points, before suffering the taken out condition, recover three health points and remove all conditions. You have to kill him twice. That's nice. That is quite nice. Yeah, that makes him very handy. He's a bit of a utility sort of striker guy. Mm -hmm. What I would say. All right, uh, let's go with Harrow. Harrow. Uh, so he's got big pitchfork. Mm -hmm. And actually the casting, I've seen one or two people say that the casting on these was a little bit, you know, they got them a little bent. This is... Pretty perfect. Yeah. Uh, really nice character. His little bag on the back. And then the card is here. Reasonable playbook. Uh, lots of momentous stuff. Uh, he's got one of his plays as momentous. Tackle, knockdown, and two damage. Mm. So very nice. He has 19 health, which is very good. He can use tooled up. Target friendly guild model gains plus one damage to character plays that cause damage and playbook that damage results. He also has sow seeds. The controlling player may pr place a friendly 30mm harvest marker within two of this model. Uh, Charmed Animal. This model gains plus one defense against each attack or character play made against it by the named model type. So if any mascots try and attack him, he's gaining plus one defense. His defense is already three, which is pretty good. Uh, rapid Growth. Aura 6. At the start of the maintenance phase, before conditions are resolved, friendly models within... This aura may recover two health points. Mm. Nice. Uh, look busy, Captain. <laughs> At the start of this model's activation, if it is within four of a friendly model of the main name type, this model may immediately use sow seeds. That's very good. So you, you've got a lot of ways to actually put those, uh, those markers out there. Mm. And our last one is Bushel. So our female character for the guild. Yes. She is lovely. She really is. Uh, really nicely done. I love the weapons, mm -hmm. or tool weapons, because that's the thing. Everything is sort of farm tools that are repurposed into Guild Ball playing equipment, shall we call it? <laughs> Gaming aids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she has 12 health. Again, reasonably short playbook. Yeah. So you are going to be getting wraps quite consistently with some of this team from what I'm seeing. Yeah. Uh, her abilities. She, only, she doesn't have much that's momentous. Uh, but she has, I'm open, uh, cost 2, range 6, target friendly model immediately makes a pass, which targets this model without spending influence. That's very useful, because mm. the number of times in this game you will pass the ball to someone, and then your opponent has a chance to get to that player before they can activate, yep. having her be able to say, look, I'm open, send me the ball, I now have my activation, let's go and actually try and score. Kick 3-8, not to be sniffed at. Yep. Uh, she also has balls gone. So this is only whenever she rolls it on her playbook, okay? 
Target enemy model loses possession of the ball marker and the ball marker is placed in possession of this model. This model may immediately make a pass action without spending influence. So she's, she's a controller. Yeah. yeah. She's very much get up to the enemy if they have the ball, get in, take it off them yep. and then pass it to someone else, maybe Jack Straw. Yeah. Uh, her abilities. Uh, protected Harrow. While within four of the name friendly model, this model gains plus one armor. So she's def five and you're giving her armor one. That's mm -hmm. not bad. Uh, cabbage Punt. The naming convention in this is great. Uh, once per turn during this model's activation, the controlling player may choose a friendly harvest marker within two inches of this model and remove it from the pitch. If a friendly harvest marker is removed, this model may reroll field kicks for the remainder of the turn. Mm. Ooh. That's nice. So if you use the Cabbage Punt, Take that away, go in, try and get balls gone, go for the, the kick, and then you get to re-roll that. That's very useful. Yep. Well, what else do we have here? We have all of the tokens. The token sets. So yeah. you have your harvest tokens, yeah. big breakfast, um, yeah. honest labor, and yeah. whatnot. So your ability tokens. Yeah. So again, it's really nicely punched out on the sheet. Mm-hmm. And it's basically everything you need to deploy. You've got your influence, you've got your momentum points, you've got all the status effects, which is great. You've got the AOEs there on the other one. Well, you have the AOE and you have the, the character. Ah, yes. This is something I like with these newer star sets that Steamforge are doing is these are all the, the wound trackers. So you yep. don't even need to use like dry wipe markers and clear sleeves anymore. Yeah. Which is very good. It's useful to have that. And then whenever the stuff's coming out, it literally does just pop out so easily Yeah, from the stuff. It's really well cut and punched out. Mm -hmm. So that is the Farmer's Guild. What do you think, John? I'm actually kind of tempted to give, these give guys, them a go. I would like to give these guys a go, yeah. I think I would. But don't forget, you still have your masons. Yeah, but I painted my masons and I did a full female lineup with them. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the Steam Forge guys tried it and went, it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like... It was worth a try. You know and my it looks pretty. You you know my aesthetic board game. Pretty. Yeah. I, I just like I just wanted to try a full female lineup and see mm. how they played. Now obviously they didn't play great, but they yeah. look good. So yeah. I'm happy with them that way. Yeah. I'm probably not gonna play them, so I'll probably just pick up another box somewhere. Yeah. Well, we've now unboxed this, so if you want a, a painting project for Hobby Night Live or something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll tell you what. Everybody get your comments in below. Do you like the Farmers Guild or is there another guild that you are interested in? We'll move on. We'll see you in the next one. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastsofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe, and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.